Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ian Kerr. I'm your investment wholesaler with BMO Life Assurance. I take care of your segregated funds and the annuity suite through BMO. I'm here this afternoon at the offices of IDC in Mississauga, Ontario, and I am joined here by Don Hart. Uh, before I get into this presentation, I just want to thank everyone at IDC, from the management team all the way to you as the valued advisors for your continued support. What I want to do this afternoon is talk about the three pillars of the BMO offer. Secondly, I want to give you a couple of sales ideas. First, let's talk about those three pillars. BMO is a strong brand name. We are the first bank in Canada. We have over $800 billion of assets under administration. And that's an important aspect to, to look at the long-term viability of what we're offering you and your clients in the marketplace. We also offer ETFs. Are you done feeling frustrated about the commercials, about the fact that your clients are paying too much or they're not saving enough? Those are the realities in our marketplace. But at BMO, we have a response. We have an ETF suite wrapped around our SAG fund contracts. Why ETFs? ETFs in general carry a lower MER than your traditional mutual funds. It's also a fantastic reason from a regulatory point of view when you're looking at moving clients money around if that is the case and it's necessary at least you have a reason here with BMO as to why you made that move and we know how regulators are looking at that very closely. The third pillar is that we offer a 100-100 contract that's a rare animal in the business first of all but also it's even more rare that you have a 100-100 contract in the marketplace that offers you monthly resets. That's right, folks, monthly resets, not once a year. Do you want your clients having their, their assets reset every 29 to 30 days? Or would you have your clients' assets being reset every 365 days? I can assure you that if you had any negative outlook on resets, I'd love to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and actually show you the true value behind those resets. The second part I want to talk to you about is some sales ideas. And Don Hart and I have had this discussion over the years. Product is nothing until you breathe life into it with a sales idea. So this afternoon I want to talk about two. Let's talk about the qualitative and also a quantitative sales idea. The qualitative part. I don't know if all of you are using in your practices currently an annuity settlement options form. This is an extremely valuable piece to your practice. If you wish to build what I call forward-looking revenue in your book of business, then you really ought to take a closer look at using the annuity settlement options form. We offer that through BMO, but we're certainly not the only ones that do. So whoever you're doing business with on the SAG fund side, ask your wholesaler, do you have an annuity settlement options form? Why? I said from the beginning, it allows you to build forward-looking revenue in your book of business. So you don't have to look around every quarter or every six months and go, where's my next revenue coming from? Why? Big, big reason. Annuities, life annuity, term certain, is a part of the options that are available to your clients when they want to leave money to their beneficiaries. If you have a kid who is very poor at spending, you could literally have 500000 to them Divide it up into 250000 in cash, 250000 in a life annuity because you're concerned that your son or daughter is going to run out of that money sooner rather than later. That is also a fantastic reason. And a lot of clients want to know, how do I control from the grave? Because I am concerned about my beneficiaries when I passed on. Fabulous, fabulous product for that. And the best part is, is that as long as you're the agent of record at time of death, you get paid on the placement of those annuities. And in the face of two out of three children firing their parents' financial advisor upon their parents' passing, this is a fantastic way to plug that hole in your business. Second one is the quantitative side. I did talk a little bit about the 100-100 offer at BMO. Wouldn't you like to actually gain traction with the RIF market as early as age 46? But let's talk about someone who's 56. Using our 100-100 contract, with a default of 15 years to maturity, that client will be 71. That's when they have to riff. Wouldn't it be great to have that conversation about how their riff is going to look at age 56, as opposed to getting in 
the big scrum when people are going to do what at age 69, 70, and 71? They're going to be looking at their RIF and their income stream going forward. That is a life event, folks. If my doctor told me I've got six months to live today, you can bet your darn dollar I'm going to go and get a second, third, and fourth opinion. That's no different than your clients today in the financial world. That is a life event when they go from RSP to RIF, and they are going to look for second, third, and fourth opinions. But you can circumvent that to a large degree by talking to them about our 100-100 contract as, again, as early as age 46. But realistically, you probably want to talk to your clients who are age 56. So those are the three pillars at BMO. And those are two sales ideas that hopefully you can take and get some traction from. I want to thank you very much for your time today. And I look forward to seeing you in the field.